So before you all enter the room, I ask who knows about Podio? Get your hands. Okay. Yeah, for the new people yeah. Yeah. who uses Podio. Yeah. Quite a few. Good stuff. Social problems. Good. So for me, Citrix, I have the company with all of us and desktops. And now, Descaler, Share File, uh, Zen Server, and other company that does virtualization. Um, and yeah, they do something with go to assist, go to webinar, you go to. And then, I was in, a few years ago, they said, well, we acquired Podio. What the fuck is it? What the fuck is it? And why should I care? I really, I had no clue, really. But in the coming the last year, we found out it was about online collaboration. That's online collaboration. Right? So maybe as such a useful, we should be able to, we should use it. You know, it's, and it's Citrix, so it must be good. Um, is this a sponsor <laughs> session in Mark? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not getting paid. No. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> in fact, when we started uh, preparing the presentation, uh, we figured, you know what, let's, let's get in contact with the guys at Podio to so see what their vision is. What is the, where Podio is all about? And within the day, we were chatting with the founders of Podio. So it's really about online collaboration. And that is really uh, um, the power of, of this collaboration. Um, in fact, <coughs> is Jim in the room? No, Jim is. Ah, I'm slacker. Okay. So he forced us to use this this slide because he was well he was in Copenhagen working. So he needed to uh, work shift into was in a bar of course. It's Jim. Uh, it's Jim Oil. Jim's in a bar right now. It's in a bar. Right now. It's in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm sure it's here. And then apparently it's the bar in Copenhagen where all the guys at Podio uh, are working. Yeah, and he said right. something about hipsters as well. Ah, uh, something about. And he yeah. said, well, actually, the funny fact was that when he went to the bathroom. This is what his, this was his, his view. view. And it was hilarious. So he wanted to show us, and then he didn't show us. <laughs> Too bad. I want to play a game. Here's what happens if you lose. So, um, <laughs> let's, let's play a game, right? Um, I've got some t-shirts to hand out. Um, and I've got a couple of questions. <laughs> the first one, about the podium. Don't Google, just guess, because that's fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On what internet? <laughs> He's right. And you've got internet, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, guesses. When did Citrix acquire Podio? Two years ago. Two, a few years. <laughs> yeah, a few, few years. No, no, that's what I said. A few years ago is no, no, no. Two and a half years. When did three years ago? Three years. Two years. Five. Four. Two years. Three. 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 Oh, it's over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, maybe make it harder. Harder? Yeah. How many months? <laughs> Name the month. It's, it's two years ago. June. August. May. May. First. May. May. October. January. Ross, <laughs> <laughs> April. 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 Okay. That's the first one. <laughs> so, <laughs> The second question. <laughs> you can fit it. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much money did Citrix spend on podium? Too much? I hope yeah. not. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, millions. Yeah. But how much? Five. Five hundred millions? What? Five. Yeah. Five point two. That's a five. Three point seven. More. Five. Five. More? Eight. Fifteen. Twenty. 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 I said it's money. Pays my euros. More than 50 million euros. So real money. 
So they paid, <laughs> they paid 500 million for that server and that server is a piece of shit, so... <laughs> I guess you get to teach But that's true. <laughs> so for 50 million, this was the one of the shit of the server. Yeah. <laughs> you have another question? Yes. Oh, you more. So, um, we're talking about Podio, but does anybody actually know what it means? Podio, the name? Well, Podio? Oh, well, just one guess. Yeah, it is. So, Podio means podium? Yeah. Can we try it again? Yes, yeah, sure. You can try it. Oh, oh man. Yeah, Podio is just it's a stage, it's a platform. Yeah, and it's built as a platform for apps. <laughs> Good. So, Podio is a platform. Uh, I mean, they paid a lot of money. Maybe just, just turn the sound off. Yeah. <laughs> One hundred million app items. Eighty thousand unique apps. Four hundred or forty thousand organizations in hundred seventy different countries. I mean, four hundred. Four hundred thousand. Sorry. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a big platform, right? And that's what it was last year, actually. The numbers are, have increased. So they did not only acquire software projects, also now there is a really big uh, ecosphere out there, and it's increasing each and every year. So it's actually, we as people working with ZenApp, Zenserv, maybe not Zenserv, <laughs> those are products, you know, this is not the product that at least I've been used to working with. There are like a lot of users yeah. actually using it. So, what is it actually? Well, what is Citrix telling us that it is? And instead of me telling you what Citrix tells, um, there's a video. See? Does yours work? Ah! Let's meet a typical company. We'll call it Pain Incorporated. <laughs> People at Pain Inc. are tired and overworked. They get too many emails and don't know what the others are doing. And everyone asks the manager for things. Tom wants project management software, while Laura at HR wants an internet solution. And Harry in sales wants a CRM system. With so many people in so many places using so many tools, work at Painting is pretty painful. Oh, Meanwhile, on the other side of town is another company. We'll call this company Pleasure Incorporated. At Pleasure Inc, everyone is on Podio. They use it as a social internet so they can communicate easily even with people outside the company. Jill uses Podio to run her marketing campaigns with a special app that manages campaign projects, manages the people and manages the milestones. It even pulls in reports from her email campaign. Peter in HR has an app that captures all job applications from the website. Each application is automatically assigned to one of his staff so he can use the task manager to keep track. Mary in Sales uses Podio to manage her leads. She found a CRM app in the Podio App Store. The Podio App Store has hundreds of free apps. And on the way, she still has access to Podio with up-to-date information. And the manager doesn't have to do a thing. Anyone can tweak the Podio app to suit the way they work. Who knows better what they need than the people actually doing the job? And we're relying on him, but he didn't show up. Yes, work at pleasure is much easier. Work is structured and connected. And employees spend less time, less money getting stuff done. They have time for other things. They're also smarter and better looking. So if you want a happy work life, get your work connected. Get Podium. So that says enough, right? This is the message that. Yeah, okay, guys. Did you do that video? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> did you work for him, Marcus? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, pleasure in. Pleasure in. I'm an independent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nope, not again. Ah, see, for about so, six hours. Uh, that's what Citrix tells us that it is, but uh, I don't know. So, what does the rest of the world say? So, uh, TechCrunch said it's a Yammer with apps. What's Yammer? Oh, what's Yammer? Yammer. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, guys who are <laughs> the new way for your team to organize, communicate, and get work done. That's what you could do with it. According to the uh, circuit partner, so are the servers. That works. Um, productivity Chrome, according to uh, Podio Guy, 
and Wikipedia are free in cloud-based collaboration service. So bullshit bingo is complete. <laughs> and remember, oh, you turn up the oh. Take it back. They're also smarter and better looking. Uh, that's why. In fact, as the juice group, that's why I use it. It's pretty good. Cool. What's the other sound? It's the clicking of the... I know, why? Yeah. Yeah. There you are. So, audio, um, it isn't Facebook. It isn't SharePoint. I mean, it isn't Jammer. It isn't Dropbox, and it isn't SharePoint. So, Ingmar. Yeah. What the fuck is Podio? Good question. <laughs> well, in fact, it, it, you can. it is a bit of all. Um, it is an online collaboration platform. It's mm -hmm. not SharePoint. It's not here to replace SharePoint. It's not Yammer. It's an online collaboration. But in a way, it is. It's all. It's, it's a bit of all. <coughs> um, the web front end for Excel sheet. Yes, and better. <laughs> <laughs> Without power, <laughs> we've got internet. We can show you. Uh, oh, 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 you with your posh internet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to know that if you are if you're having shared window, like ah, you know, I can't really work with it. So the same as we did at the digital news, we had shared, window. and we tried to uh, get our events organized, get our our tasks organized, so that all of us from the cloud could access the files. And yes, we had it set up. But, you know, Bill Cohen could never use with it. No, Bill Cohen wouldn't use it. But, you know, we, we figured we need a solution that Wilco can work with as well. Um, well, that's got to be pretty <laughs> simple. But keep this in mind, if you, you are, if you want to get a way of SharePoint, um, it's not just oh, okay, I'm going to plug in and replace all my stuff I have to share with but that's not a way it's going to work. Now, you can't just replace it. But in a lot of cases, you could get rid of SharePoint and go to Plus uh, You can get rid of Yammer and go to Plus And it has a lot of reasons. Yeah. That's why you go with the gem, the hidden gem. Exactly. exactly. That's why we call it hidden gem, because we got Wilco to share his files on the website. Whoa. Yeah. Instead of SharePoint and, and, and cursing about SharePoint. And actually saying, hey, this is pretty good. Yeah, it works. You know Walter van Stedler? He did it reversed. So he began booing about SharePoint and he went, oh, it's pretty good for uh, for uh, Podium. So, supported browsers, because we're doing online collaboration. It has in an <coughs> for Chrome, Safari, Firefox, it has clients for iOS and Android. Is the sound on? Yes. Sorry, here. Sorry, you <laughs> No Windows Phone, no Blackberry. Sorry? <laughs> Blackberry. Blackberry, yeah. Right but I looked it up in all the forums. Like, hey, it's just iOS, it's just Android. Where's the rest? Now, there must be at least a Windows Phone. But they simply said, well, the market for okay. no, one no one cares. <laughs> Maybe quick test. Windows Phone users. Try it. Oh. Podio. So how is Podio organized? You start with an organization, right? Just a, a few people organized. It can be from the same company or uh, external contacts as well. Um, you can divide it into workspaces, which is basically a grouping of people doing the same job or same, using the same application. Um, and in the workspaces, you can create your own apps, or you can get them from the uh, App Store or the, the, um, um, the Marketplace in Podio. Uh, you can download a complete app and modify it like you want it to be. And then you have app items. Um, those items you can link into other apps. So basically what it gives you is a really regular way to move around with files with information. With just four layers. <coughs> with just four layers. Not. So we'll get a try without and that we have a little bit of it uh, to do maybe a demo. Let's demonstrate oh, and that's why we think it's been driven. I got a browser, see what he did there. Yeah. Was here. <laughs> so, Podio. Uh, Podio is 
just a website, basically. It's an online platform with mobile applications. And so where's Facebook? So he had a question, Andrew? Was that a question? No, he said shit and giggles. Um, so as a, as a that is an example. Um, we had a digital user group. We wanted to organize our events, um, events, locations, uh, presenters. Uh, we wanted to have it work. So um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to to do to get this uh, information organized and actually getting um, people involved. Get, like people like Bilko, part of this. this uh, now it's not fair. Bilko, Bilko, Bilko. So we're going to create an app and. <coughs> We're going to try to create an app. And what we'll see here, once it's loaded, um, yeah, there's a big app. Now, there are a lot of applications already available, either in a, in a package or as a separate application. So if you want to do um, host an event, there's a very big application available as well. If you want to run a project, there's an app which you can use and install everything. So for an online demonstration, that is not good. Um, have a video. No no. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Look, there it is. Now so we're just going to create our own app and we'll say, no, let's call it uh, Defense. Let's What you get is this is fairly recent that uh, I think three or four weeks ago they released the new version. Um, all you have to do is so what type of information do you want to store? And that's just track and drop. So I got the name of an event, um, I got the date, I can organize it, uh, the number of people I want to organize it for, uh, yeah, and the map, so what location is it, but basically that's all the basic information. And this is the template for all the things that I'm going to create for the data that Store. And you can see it's very just drag and drop and very fast. Yeah. Yes, it's it's as you can see it runs on sensor. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the demo part. I'm just gonna show you what's what you can do. Basically what I wanted to show you is it's very easy to show stuff. But one of the things that we did was actually, as a preparation for this, this we actually used Podio before. We used Podio to, Podio to share the content of this presentation. So I uploaded my uh, PowerPoint, um, as you can see, attached by anywhere. It's stored on ShareFile, so they are using their own platform. Um, and then, in case you could use it, this is like typical SharePoint. You can do this as well. So now it's very easy. You can replace files, you have uh, a versioning, um, there's some comments, just like it. There it is. And now he said, okay, I updated it. Um, something with speaker notes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> something about Jim. They call it Jim. Boss! It says, no, Jim have... didn't show up on time. Oh, God. <laughs> Are they hacking on you or... again? But you can also do, and uh, what we did was, um, you can create data, you want to collect data about, let's say, some questions. Now what we did at the digital news group is, what type of sessions do you want to see? Um, we have a bring your own session concept. So people from the community, they can send in um, presentations, and people who are attending the event can say, I want to see this session, I want to see that session. And even though 20 people are sending in their presentation, only three will make it. And the only way of doing it fair is letting everyone vote. And we store that in Podio. And here we can see the number of votes that we got. And this is our internal information. But the end users, the people in the community, they just had a web page show. 
I actually don't think. I'm prepared. You see, I did not record a video plan. That I planned. So everything is open. So I, I did not have the, the poll open anymore because the event. But if you want to sponsor the digital use, which is of course possible. <laughs> And you do? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's an awesome idea. We should do that, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> you can always do that. Um, for instance, at the bottom, there's a name called Tuck Mail, which is very obvious. So please contact me. Um, and it's just a web form, basically. But the combination of showing a public web form and getting the data into our audio app is, makes it very powerful because we can access it from everywhere and it's all connected. And we can actually say, Okay, we get information received and we link it to this event. And I think there's something over here. Uh, oh, content in here. Who are the speakers? Who are the um, people who can present something? Is it an opportunity? Or is, it, is it booked? So let's say, um, yes then, he was at the last event. Sorry, I got a question. So, Wilco can now upload files. He's yeah. obviously not learned how to upload his photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it one small step at a time. Because it's a camera. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, right. Or is it censored? Yeah. yeah. I didn't do the last. Uh, so we can get all lots of sorts of information about our event. We can actually say, oh, let's relevant to let's say the Ford event and. If it searches, it connects, and then all the data is being tied together. Six. Six. Oh, six. Oh, it's in there. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And then it will look at the fourth event, which I think was the fourth that you presented. Fifth, I don't know. Yeah. Four. Awesome. Four. All this data is linked to each other. So it's very easy to see, okay, we've got this information. It's stored completely on the left. On the other side of the left side, there is this information. But we can always link it together. And maybe this sounds a bit like close your eyes and think of, oh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> it actually is, but on this screen it's very difficult to see. Um, have, you, have you said that before to anybody? Well, <laughs> 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 is that how you took your new job? <laughs> hey, well, no, what new job? <laughs> Can somebody open the window? <laughs> it's getting warm in here. So we have, as a matter of fact, we also, you know, we get all the sponsors in there. Who is sponsoring us? Maybe they didn't, maybe it's just a um, potential, here is a potential sponsor. Um, and if we add someone here, we create a new line, a new sponsor, uh, let's say uh, Atlantis, they are potentially a new sponsor. Um, that's the first thing we do, you know, uh, status is potential. Once we create that, automatically a task is being created. And that task is, Milko, could you please contact them, send them the sponsor agreement and try to hook them in, you know? Uh, raise the bar, get some more money, and this status changes. And there's a workflow attached to each item that we create, so that it's not, not just a matter of creating data, data, it's also a workflow. And once we do this, even from the website, when someone fills in uh, a record, Bilbo is getting a message on his phone saying, please contact these people. And it's all automated. And that is actually quite powerful in our Brilliant part, right? Look, it doesn't know how it works, but yeah, we can still assign tasks to it. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but for instance, um, the paper bite where I work is my uh, personal uh, information, my salary, etc. This is not my salary. It's, a, it's, it's combined. It's combined and uh, minus thing. Minus. That's where I spend money. Those are your expenses. Yeah. Yes, yeah. these are my expenses. Um, it's is very easy. Is this for you with Remco? No comments, no comments. <laughs> it, was not, it was a cigar bar, no banana bar. <laughs> There's a, a normal activity overview, just like you're used to it, Gary. You know, it's just a, the feed of information, or at Facebook you get a feed of information. All the recent changes, so I've got new uh, uh, payroll slips, something. Um, someone updated something. Here, yeah, i got a new laptop. Um, I spent some money apparently, and you get a good overview. And the funny thing is, we got a budget, and I said, I don't know, ten thousand euros. You spend something, you get something, and I can get a clear overview of what my budget is. And the same is for how many days of holidays, uh, vacation do I still have? And it's all online. It is very easy, and everyone can, even Bilko could use it. So uh, that's how powerful. <laughs> 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 
That's how simple we made it. I would actually, um, looking at the distributors, we got away from SharePoint, we got away from sending around an Excel file with all the tasks that we needed to do. So you needed to, uh, I don't know, but you needed to order some uh, polos, uh, you needed to <laughs> you order uh, <laughs> all those <laughs> shirts. Um, that's now all digital. We can all see that, ah, oh, buddy or the polo. Great, great. Must be awesome. <laughs> Inside you. Sorry. And we did it all in one day. So, um, Gaze and I sat together and we got rid of SharePoint and Excel files sending around via email in one day. That's how easy it was. So that should be the marketing slogan, right? Polio makes you get rid of SharePoint. Yes, yeah. in one day. <laughs> yeah. In one day. In our SharePoint. In one day. And? Even with Google. <laughs> yes, please. They're also smarter and better looking. See? That's why. Sorry. Yeah. So Will it blend? That is the question. Oh, we're singing Mars demo. Um, it does blend with web songs. Yeah, the music. <laughs> <laughs> It, it does blend with Exchange because it can send invitations, stars, um, even with maps if you're not using like Samsung, whatever, telephone, the yeah. iPhone knows how to display the maps if yeah. you do an event invitation. So it blends with, with Exchange. Um, it blends with all type of, of file sharing solutions, not only share a file, but it blends with Google and, and Box and Dropbox. Yeah. So you don't have to upload all your files to you. If you don't want, if you, you don't just want use it, you can use it. Yeah. Um, it blends with a Zendesk as well, uh, which is a customer management uh, software tool. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> you I really know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, campaign monitor. If you do email uh, campaigns, you can um, um, integrate with campaign monitor as well. So you can display some how many hits you got on your website, how many people are looking. at <laughs> Whatever you want to uh, respond to your last email, uh, use that next exactly. um, And um, they have integration with software as well. So basically, all the other services that don't integrate natively, you can get with Zapier as well. So what does it cost? Well, first of all, it's free. As said already on the Wikipedia description, it's a premium uh, model. So everyone can use it. It's free to use. Um, for five employees and even five external companies. You know, a list of employees of the company. Create a, sorry. As case of claim, start with the company, the workspaces. In the company you can create employees and invite uh, contractors. Okay, please share this, this information. Uh, you get five of each. How does it distinguish by the email domain? No, the way you create it. So, so you can just basically you can use ten have ten accounts you can use any way you like. No, you have to say I'm gonna create a, or add a um, an employee, and that list is five. And in the workspaces you can invite people, uh, but up to a maximum of five in total. <coughs> uh, and then you get full access to all Polio apps and core features. So it's already very powerful, powerful and accessible. So everyone can just use it without any. Problem. Then there's the team edition, which is $9 per employee per month. But it's a little over $100 per year per employee. And then you can actually get unlimited employees, unlimited external contacts, and access rights. So, premium. I like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. But everyone can use it. Uh, in fact, if you are a non-profit organization, uh, you can reach out to Podio. And well, if you place a logo on your website and they validate that you are a non-profit organization, uh, they will buy uh, the premium or the, the team edition for you. So it's getting paid. So they are really trying to help out the non-profit organizations. So every user group basically is a non-profit organization. So you can use well, it. You can use Podio if you're a user group as well. I thought we civic user group. I thought we'd already asked if we could have free licenses. And yes. And yes. We asked. Okay. Yes. 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 We asked. Yes. Well, yeah. So, so we tried using Claudio for the C2P group as well, and yeah. it kind of was like where data went to die. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, it's like the old-fashioned SharePoint, right? 
I think it needs a use case. And the use case is around can you drive a workflow as a space just for sharing documents like Dropbox or like Sharefile. Um, a little bit useless. But yeah. when you can integrate and think through a process, like you want to hold a meeting, like you want to do a campaign, like you want to run a project, this is a very useful part. Yeah. So it needs that. If you're just going to use it to share information, it does it does die a death. Because its value is in the creation of the workflow. You're right with all of the apps. There's a massive amount. What's really useful is you can go in and then edit those apps. Yeah. You can yeah. add your own fields. And you can share them again. Yeah. I mean, you can build your own apps. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's what we're planning to do with the whole podio like we did it as a user group. All right. so uh, we're still planning on um, uh, releasing it as, a, as an app on the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So other user groups, and not specific specific user group, but other user groups can use it as well. Yeah. Because it basically it's just framework. Yeah. Yeah. It is a framework for sharing information and driving team collaboration. It is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The description as it was. Yeah. Team collaboration. Yeah. Well, is there a limit uh, of the amount of data you can store? I haven't found it, no. no I think it's a fair use policy, uh, as long as you don't allow, uh, upload large ISO files. <coughs> no limit, no. <coughs> no they, are, they are trialing a different charging model, uh, which is based on the, the number of items that you create. Number of items? Yeah. That's actually quite a lot. You can be a lot. But that's instead of the team license per, you, per employee. Yeah. And is that instead of? Like another licensing model? Yeah, some different licensing. Ah, that's too bad. So it's, like a, it's like a kind of small, medium, large, so based on the amount of stuff. So rather than make it per user, make it the amount of stuff yeah, you put into yeah. it. Makes sense. Yeah. You can still scale up. You scale down as well. Probably not. Probably not, because you're going to delete stuff. So. <laughs> you're really more. Well, I still don't really understand what Podio does, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. When Citrix announced at Synergy two years ago that they had bought Podio, I called my son and told him about it. Of course, he's a young squirt like you. Uh, <laughs> and he went and looked at it and called me back and was like, oh man, this is just so amazing. You can do this. Da, 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 da. And he's now to the point to where he makes almost 100% of his money doing nothing but Podio for businesses. Uh, Does he make any money? He, yeah, he's making almost as much as me. So yeah, he's making big big money. Uh, <laughs> but he told me about, he has this one property management company in Los Angeles where they manage uh, about 150 different properties. And so in the Podio thing, I guess that'd be the workspace. So there's a workspace for each of those 150 yeah. entities. Yeah. And so he is hooked each of those entities in with uh, some thing that links in with Podio where each of those gets a toll-free number. And when they call the toll-free number, there's some kind of Python script that runs in the background that knows which workspace that toll-free number goes to and can then play a script for each of those uh, properties so they get the, the proper uh, message and they can leave a voicemail which then gets forwarded on to whoever is supposed to handle the workflow and then can transcribe that voicemail <laughs> into an email that then goes on and all that interaction that takes place is completely automated within Podio. Yeah, and you talk about Yeah, the <laughs> script problem. And your son's scripts need the most powerful part in this area because then Podio is just, well, yeah. just work. Yeah. And some organization included. But no, it, it was amazing when he was telling me about it. I was just like, dude, you got to do a session on this next year at Synergy. Yeah. Maybe talk to Citrix and sell it. Yeah. Take some money. Um, but basically, what we said was, what, what it's not, it's not Sharefile, it's not uh, Yammer, it's not Sharefile, it's not a replacement of anything. But it could be. You know, if you uh, traditional you need it somewhere in your work, exactly. if you need some online collaboration, uh, you need for your, your team or your company or uh, your local soccer club, I don't know. Then this is a good place to start because it's very intuitive. I like the way it's, it's, it was so easy to set up for us. Mm -hmm. And it's an online platform. And yes, it works on your uh, iOS or your Android. 
but can you build open communities with it or do all the people have to be member of the yeah, you have to be member of the workspace, yeah. but well, if you have, like, say, the team edition, the premium, then yeah, this is limited. So we can invite everyone and we can be part of it. And that could be for the entire workspace or just an application or just an item. So you just saw the presentation which I uploaded to Podium. Yeah. Only that presentation was available in case. The rest of the information was hidden. Yeah, just for an example, in case we have the rest as well, which is my demo of our um, But that makes it uh, pretty powerful that you can share this information. You can have online collaboration with groups of people. For instance, use group. Or for instance, the RSP group could be a, a viable solution instead of Yammer. You have already used it without you knowing it. Yeah. For all of our polls. By voting on the polls and stuff like that, you I already am. use it without even knowing it. So group as a member has already used and it so for a year. That means I was automatically added as a member to the Podio no. site or is no, it just... You, you did a, a, the voting, you didn't yeah. do it up based on a username password. So we gave you the link and you could vote. Yeah. So, there was no so I don't even have to be a member to, to exactly. contribute yeah. to yeah. the apps. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Any more questions? So, I mean, if it's that powerful, is it available as an offline, you know, for a completely segregated... <laughs> online for, 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 for demo purposes. Online. No, yeah. for like, I mean, you've got a, a, you know, a WAN, or a local area network group that won't communicate with the outside. I mean, they want to have a financial or something, you know, area. They don't necessarily want that system to be available to the public at all. They want it to be internal. It's that powerful, and are they making it available to where you can actually offload it into an internal environment? Does it make that more powerful? Yeah. I mean, Salesforce is very powerful. Yeah. It's just all online. Um, now it's, it's an online platform, and that makes it. But it's not necessarily public. I mean, it's still it's still close to your team. So any people you specify can access the data. It could be open. Doesn't do partial fun. information could be open. You can expose it's it. Data. Data. Yeah, yeah, but anything on the web. No matter how close you make it, it's still out there for some people. Yeah, 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 but that's, that's the same with internal systems as well. I mean, if you know Remco, uh, <laughs> unless it's not connected, then you're not safe. And that's what I'm talking about, though. Mm. It's not connected to the outside. Yeah. Yeah, well, that is not your solution. Uh, is part of Citrix online or Citrix? It's incorporated. It's Citrix online. online. So it will never go on back. Because it's part of. The yeah. I have no. I don't think there are any intentions. No. no. And and <laughs> what is the intention that Citrix employees have to give Podio? Because there's Not always. Much. Yeah. But that's what we saw in the. Um, in the um, <laughs> while we uh, wanted to talk to people from Podio at, at Synergy because we uh, we both went to Synergy, uh, but nobody from the Podio team was going. So basically, that says a lot. And it is what I often found a pity that great technology, but based on targets and quotas, people are not selling it. So it's, it's the community that needs to drive it. It doesn't get the attention from the development resources within Citrix. Well, depends on your it depends on your target audience. I think that um, guys like and girls um, who are sitting here are really focused on on application desktop delivery, virtualization. The whole online collaboration suite is just uh, a necessity to use. Yeah, yeah. Next, a ne a next thing, just in addition to what we're doing. So I think for most of us, the focus isn't on, on online collaboration. Um, but you just saw in one of the first slides that it, it is a big platform. And to take Carl's students' point, you can't drive the business model for it. Mm -hmm. So you can expand out. Um, I think someone was asking about uh, two-factor authentication, so it is, a, it is a, a consideration to move away from desktop apps, use this, collaborate with Zen Mobile, move applications all together. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a powerful platform, just needs to be considered as a platform rather than an app, yeah. from a desktop yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I used to say Citrix market, well, I was about to say Citrix market it very badly, but they don't they market do. it at all, yeah. right? <laughs> Well, they do, but not via the normal channel. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so I think it fits much more in the, in the go-to side, right? Yeah. So yeah. go to meeting, blah, blah, and it should be, I don't go to collaborate. Yeah. And then should 
be the, the freemium model uh, sort of web citizens have got that thing already. Why not just include this? Just well, it, it, it is yeah, part yeah. of the go-to uh, team to all the online. It's just not being branded as a go-to product yet. It might be because the integration. There are integrations, so there is not an integration of let's say Google Meeting. There is integration. In, meeting. In yeah. It wasn't. It is now. And it, there's more and more integration coming. Then again, they just released a new logo and a new builder, all in the Podio yeah. um, style. So yeah. Yeah. the integration is going slowly. It is. At this moment. It will slowly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the same kind of social, social cost. Yeah. And they, but did some they do cool, on premise cool, as well. And they did some cool demos with, with integration of uh, uh, apps that can be shared and, and documents you can download. And, Five minutes, and then beers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this five minutes? <laughs> on, on where this is growing, because I, I can see this growing faster in, market, in starting markets like Brazil or, or where there are big companies starting up now. Uh, and then if we look at Europe, where, where we already have the big companies with all their it's difficult to say. Well, if we talk to Citrix, we don't know what their intentions are, what their vision is. Only the vision of Podio, as a team that they acquired, they have a vision of, you know, we want to build a platform where applications and data to allow collaboration. But the Citrix vision, well, it's not being promoted yet. We don't know. But is that because it's less visible for the partner side, as we're not uh, very interactively communicating with the Citrix online services? Because they are different. It's a different channel. So yeah, different we channel. are used to selling virtualization technology. ZApps and Nestop, Netscaler, and Server maybe some. Uh, so they're all Citrix products, but we do sell VMware as well. And Hyper-V and stuff like that. But the go-to <laughs> product range. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different channel that they need to, uh, they're reaching out to different partners, not the same partners as they do now. Yeah, I, think, so I think Citrix run the Podio business as a separate company. Yeah. Um, it's a separate Podio channel yeah. partner scheme. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, all, it's all separate it's it as an independent entity. That's why we don't hear anything about it. Yeah. And that's, that's a pity in our, our in seeing it, seeing what we can do with it. Yeah, and these, yeah they, have the, they have their own marketing department, they have their own sales yeah. people. It's, it's, uh, but that's, that's changing in the Netherlands where, where Citrix is moving to Amsterdam and, <coughs> and moving into the same building and office as Citrix Online because that's now completely different. So maybe that will help as well. I hope so. Then You'll know. You'll know. Yeah. 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 Go online, try it yourself. Yeah, please give it a go. Turn up, go back home. Go online. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. No, I think it's an excellent product for everyone to use. Good. I love that. You work for Citrix. Uh, I do not. <laughs> this is a vendor session. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you all. We did that.